Hi, this is Ding from DingTech, and today we're going to show how to make a planetary system with the Orbit plugin for Unreal Engine. Um, so what that means is here we have a sun, a planet, a moon, and the moon will be orbiting the planet, and the planet will be orbiting the sun. And so here's an example of what our finished product is going to look like. And you can see the planet is circling the sun, and the moon is circling the planet. So let's get started. And actually, before we get started, I do want to point out that if you're trying to model the real solar system, uh, I have another plugin called the Astronomy plugin. And this plugin is designed to model very accurately the real life solar system. So if you want very accurate locations of the sun, the Earth, Mars, all that stuff, and you want um, accurate stars and all that, um, check out the astronomy plugin. But if you're trying to make your own little solar system and you want to be able to play around with the distances between the different objects, or you want to change the gravity, or maybe you have a character that you want to be affected by different types of gravity, um, like a spaceship or something, then you want the orbit plugin. So the orbit plugin helps you make your own system. The astronomy plugin um, is for modeling the real life solar system. Uh, so check that out on the Unreal Marketplace to, to read more about it. Okay, so first we're just going to start from scratch. So I'm going to create a new level. Um, we'll just use the default level. And first I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the atmosphere and the sky because we're pretending we're in space here. So I'm going to get rid of the floor here, get rid of the atmospheric fog. Uh, we'll keep the light source. We'll get rid of player start just to make it easier to preview. And we'll keep a, the skylight and the reflection. Uh, so first thing we will do is add our sun. So I'm just going to use a sphere actor here. I will put it in the very center of the map. So 0004 location. Uh, next, uh, I will make it a little bigger. Um, since it's our sun, it'll be the biggest thing in our system. Uh, so I'll scale it up uh, by a factor of 20. Um, now I will assume that you've already added or purchased the um, orbit and gravity system. Um, I've already added it to the project, so I'm not going to re-add it here, but you would go to the marketplace and go to your library and add the orbit and gravity system to your project. Uh, and that's the folder it adds. Um, so now I'm going to add a component to our our sphere here and actually first I will rename this um, to Sun just uh, to make it a little more descriptive and I'm going to add a component and I'm going to add a BP gravity mass component and there we go BP gravity mass component and this is what's going to give uh, this actor um, a gravity effect. Uh, so in properties, we can see some of the options we have will affect gravity. We do want it to affect it. If we were to turn this off, then it just wouldn't uh, apply any gravity. Um, we don't want anti-gravity. We're going to keep everything default, um, except for the standard gravitational parameter. Um, we're going to increase this to two just because it's a big object. It's the sun. So we're going to we're going to give it a little bit more than the default um, gravity effect. Um, oh, and this is important. Uh, we want to make sure it's movable. Uh, and that is all we need to do for uh, uh, the sun. All right, next we're going to do the same thing uh, for the planet. So I'm going to drag a sphere actor over. I'm going to rename this uh, to planet. And for location, I will keep it along the Y axis, I think. So we'll put it zero for X. Uh, let's try 10,000 for Y and zero for Z. Uh, and that looks pretty good, I think. Um, it does look a little small though, so I will scale it up. Uh, let's, let's try five. Um, there we go, it looks pretty good. 
All right, for the planet, um, first let's give it gravity. So just like we did for the sun, I will add a gravity mass component. And I will keep all of this um, as default, I think. I don't think we need to change anything here. Um, oh, and I made a mistake. So back to our sun, uh, you see, when I checked to see if this is movable, the, the component is movable, but the actual sun actor is set to static. So we need to change that to movable. And we'll do the same thing for the planet. Uh, make sure the planet is movable. Uh, we'll get a bunch of funky warnings and errors if the blueprint is trying to move the planet because of gravity, but it can't actually do it. So um, we've set that to movable now. And uh, that is all we need to configure for gravity. So next, because this planet is going to, we want the planet to be affected by the sun's gravity mass, we're going to add another component, um, a uh, orbit movement component. So the orbit movement component is what uh, will move the planet based on the gravity masses in the scene. Um, so the first thing we want to configure here is we want this, I'm going to change this movement physics type from kinematic to Kepler. So what this means is Kepler uses a mathematically precise orbit that's not going to be affected by varying frame rates or anything. It's just using the mathematically precise orbit based on the distance, the gravity, um, the initial speed you set the planet to. It'll, it'll just calculate the correct orbit and keep that perfect orbit forever. If we were to do kinematic, what that's doing is similar to how Unreal character movement physics works, where every every frame or how, you know whatever uh, um, iteration size you set to, it'll it'll calculate the difference in velocity each frame and incrementally move that actor a little bit um, for how far it should have gone for that small step of um, and so that's that's good if you have a character and you want the character to be affected by gravity and uh, or you want to have multiple gravity masses that are all affecting the actor then you need to use kinematic um, but for this we just want to keep the planet in a good perfect orbit so we'll set it to Kepler uh, and we don't need to change anything else. Uh, we're going to keep it, we'll just do a circularized orbit for now. So the Unreal uh, Orbit plugin will figure out what the perfect velocity for a circular orbit it is, and we'll set that. Uh, I do want to set the start direction to uh, x equals 1. So that means we'll do a circular orbit and uh, it's going to initially start along the x-axis, so 90 degrees from where it is now. Um, if we were to uncheck that, then we could set a custom velocity to start off with, but we'll just do a circular orbit for now. And let's also turn on line trails just so we can see, make it a little clearer, um, to see the orbit path, and we'll turn up the thickness a little bit. All right, let's hit play and see where we're at. Um, all right, there we go. We got our planet starting to orbit around the sun. So now let's add our moon. Um, so we're, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, drag a sphere actor in there. And I'm going to call this uh, moon. Um, Let's set the location to, let's see, our planet was on y equals 10,000. So let's make this y equals 11,000 and zero for z. And all right, the sizing was pretty good. Uh, we're going to add our orbit movement component. We won't add a gravity mass to the moon because we don't really care about the moon's gravity because it's small. Uh, we are going to do one thing different here. So in the configuration for the moon's orbit movement, uh, there's a field called uh, gravity mass to orbit. And so this is used, it's only used in Kepler mode, and this is, we're going to tell it which uh, gravity mass um, to orbit around. And so I'm going to pick an actor from scene and pick the planet. So that's telling the moon's orbit movement component to use the planet's gravity mass for um, orbit calculations. 
Now, if you don't set that, um, the Orbit plugin will figure out what the largest gravity influence is and just default to that largest gravity influence. Um, so it'll probably default to the planet anyway, um, but just to be sure, we'll set that. And we can do that for the planet also. We can go to the planet's orbit and movement um, and select the sun just to make sure um, everything's uh, configured appropriately. If you're using kinematic mode, you could use the gravity mass array and select multiple gravity masses to consider. Um, and if you don't add any initially, it'll just default to add all of them. Um, so let's hit play and see what happens. And oh, the moon is not moving. So let's see what happens. Oh, and we're getting some warnings. Um, and it's because it's, the moon's not set to movable. So we'll go to the moon, hit movable. Um, oh, we also didn't, we need to set this to go uh, along the x-axis also. Uh, or at least not directly along the y-axis because that doesn't make sense for an orbit. Um, all right, there we go. And now we have the moon orbiting the planet. And just to, to make it look exactly like the projects we wanted to it to look like, we'll um, turn on debug trails. And there we go. We have our little planetary system. And so we did everything with per perfectly circular orbits, but we could, uh, we wanted to have have some, uh, some more um, unusual orbits. Let's turn off circularized and we'll just pick a start velocity. So we'll, you know, let's say it's, um, we're going to go along the x axis at a velocity of 1200 or something like that. Um, and this is there now, you know, instead of our circular orbit, we uh, have a much more elliptical orbit. And let's see if it's going to fall into the sun. Nope. So just barely that distance uh, will keep the planet orbiting the moon. Um, oh, and you know, we forgot to do one thing. We should have set the moon to Kepler just to make sure uh, the moon stays in the correct orbit um, for as long as we're playing the game here. And you can see, you know, the first, it looks very similar. Uh, we probably wouldn't notice anything unless we were running the simulation for a few minutes. And now that that's done, let's just have some fun because we've completed our project and let's just see what happens. Uh, if we, let's just make another planet and see how that goes. And let's give that planet, uh, some moons, so I'm just copying these same actors. Um, and I'm going to make sure these moons are set to the uh, this new planet. Oops. And uh, let's not make the velocity so eccentric. Nine hundred and five hundred. Let's let's see how that looks. Oh, and this. Well, we'll just start him circularized. Uh, the other thing I did is Orbit plugin comes with a mode, um, Orbit example mode, and this just um, will give you a little spaceship guy that will be affected by gravity. Um, so I'm hitting play, I got my little spaceship guy, so I should be able to, let's try to slingshot around one of these planets and head towards our uh, our sun here. And there we go, we kinda, I was going a little fast so I didn't slingshot too much, but you could see the uh, spaceship start to curve as we got a little closer. Let's see if we can do that a little, a little better here. And there we go, you can see it's curving around the sun. And there's our system with all our planets and moons. All right, so that's the end of the, the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'm looking forward to see what you all create.